deny yourself still stirring the demand of Christ. That's how the landscape of Christianity is designed. To follow Christ means to be like Him, to be submitted to His will, and to follow His path. As Christians, we have an important role in this borrowed life because God has given us the responsibility to the stewards, supervisors, or managers of the things entrusted to us by Him. Our finances, our time, and yes, our hearts to display our character. Titus 1.7 says, As God's steward, an overseer must be above reproach, not self-absorbed, not quick-tempered, not given to drunkenness, nor not violent, not greedy for money. This passage is talking about an overseer who is dead to self and alive to God. Our flesh is often our enemy, as it focuses on self-indulgence, gets in the way to God's purpose, not only in us, but in other folks as well, because we can influence other people who are close to us. The last of the flesh is a stumbling block in God's vineyard. People should see Christ in us, in our behaviors, in our thoughts and words. Our desire to flourish, to grow, to find genuine satisfaction will be attained when we learn to deny ourselves. Deny ourselves shows that our life is spirit in Christ. It shows that our dependency is on Him for everything that concerns our life, even our goal to lead people to Him. This has been a challenge to many leaders as some have led many to themselves not to Christ, because knowingly or unknowingly, they have succumbed to their flesh. John Angel James says, Deny yourself and take up your cross daily, and to follow me is still the stern and bending demand of Christ. This statement echoes what Christ requires those who would follow him.